Michael Jackson died, and as his doctor, Conrad Murray, heads into court to face manslaughter charges, the controversy surrounding his death still rages on. Michael's sister, LaToya, claims that Dr. Murray was just the fall guy in, the, in her new book, Starting Over, and she's here to tell us why. She says there was a conspiracy to murder her brother. Please welcome back LaToya Jackson. <laughs> A couple of facts sure. and things. How are you, first of all? I'm good, thank you. How you are you guys terrific. doing? Great. Everybody looks great. You look Wonderful. beautiful, too. Why, thank you. Okay. So yesterday, a judge refused to delay the trial of Dr. Yes. Con uh, Conrad Murray. It's going to be taking place uh, September 8th. It'll begin. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, he's being charged with involuntary manslaughter for administering these large dose, doses of propofol, uh, which caused Michael to overdose. Uh, the defense is saying that Michael was a desperate man. That's their yes. position, the defense, right. for, for Conrad Murray. Yes. Um, he, that he gave himself the drug in order to help him sleep. That he gave it to himself. That, that Dr. Murray did not give it to him. And what do you think about the defense's case? Okay, first of all, that's not true. And I've spoken to several different doctors. You cannot inject yourself with propofol like that alone. The minute you put it in, it goes into your system, you fall asleep immediately. Mm -hmm. Immediately, and doctors will tell you, and then you wake up after that. So mm -hmm. somebody had to be standing there administering this to him. You mean the minute it goes in, you fall asleep, and then you wake up immediately afterwards? No, not immediately. Oh. Within nine minutes or so, unless they're continuously doing it, or something of that nature. So, yes. so he would it not all be able to overdose then? He would not be able to overdose had he done this himself. And I knew that that would be a subject. I knew it would come back because I was, the, I was over Michael's body and handling everything, all the situations. And when they came back to say they wanted palm prints and things that they had already gotten, and the way and the angles that they were doing everything, I said, I find this to be quite interesting. What you must also keep in mind is that when Michael first passed, right after that, the following morning, I was told the coroner came and he said that whoever did this, did this intentionally. Mm -hmm. Michael had enough propofol in him, he said, to kill an elephant. Oh my wow. Now, All mind right. you, propofol, it just leaves your body immediately. With Michael, it didn't because he had a kidney and liver problem. So it, that made it stay but into his system. But you don't think it was Dr. Murray who did it? Well, well, I think, think, there, I there, think there was a conspiracy, there was a conspiracy right? absolutely, Elizabeth. It was a conspiracy, and a lot of people were involved in this, and they know who they are, and they're very afraid of what I might say, of what my brother has told me. Was he used in your mind, Dr. Murray, I'm speaking of, as the sort of hitman in terms of this conspiracy? I think, honestly, in my my total belief is that Dr. Murray was just the fall guy simply because he knew what was going on, mm -hmm. but I don't know to what extent. Okay. And, and I can't say. I can. I wasn't well, there you, when my brother was murdered. But doesn't it boil down to who actually administered the propofol? Exactly. Right. Well, right. well, who actually injected it yeah. into him yeah. completely? Which would be a bit, well, that would be the person who would be which tried was somebody for was in Michael's house outside of that doctor during that time. Now that I do know, and I know who that person was you that do. was in his house. Now whether that person did that or not, that I don't but know. But if you're saying that Dr. Murray is just the fall guy. And that there are people, you know, way bigger than him that were be that was behind this. What do you want to see happen to Dr. Murray? Well, first of all, let's let's look at it this way. If Dr. Murray, let's think about something. Now, if you're if you're hiring an artist to sing for you and go out and perform, and you hire a doctor as well, the first thing you tell that doctor, if he asks for an aspirin, don't you give it to him until you consult us. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Why would you let a doctor be in there knowing that he's doing this? and allow that to happen. Your concern would be more or less, don't give him anything. Why are they just letting this doctor do whatever he wants? Even when Michael said, I don't want the doctor around me, this is what he was being said the last days, but no, you gotta have this person yeah, with you. you what, why do you think Michael was concerned about this? What, do you, what, do you, what were they after? Well, first of all, he told me over and over and over. When he first told me, LaToya, they're going to kill me, I said, who, Michael? First, I thought, you're Michael Jackson. Nobody in their right mind would ever think of doing anything like this to you. That's what you think. He says, no, but you don't understand. And then I saw how serious he was. He said, it's bigger than what you think. I said, well, Michael, what is it? He said, it's my publishing. They're after my publishing. They want to take it. As you guys know, my brother had one of the largest catalogs in the world, meaning music-wise. Mm. The and Beatles collection he, was he, one of them. He owned the Beatles, yes. Yeah. There's an elevator music that you hear, just everything. Basically, say, a piece of every artist. I'm just kind of, I'm really intrigued because you say that there was somebody at this house and you know yeah. who it was. Can you say who it was? No, I cannot say because there were other Why people at the say? house as well. 
because I prefer not to at the moment, but I will say this, I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one with several people. Uh, one person I would Is love to safe? have. I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one with probably. Um, mm -mm. Yummy. <laughs> no, 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 you say that because there you think go, that you could, you could instinctively get from them if they had a hand in his death or not? Why don't you leave it to the law have to deal with this? this yeah. can, let's, let's, okay, you said leave it to the law yeah. to deal with this. Yeah. Yes, of course, the law is dealing with this, but however, you must think about it this way. Joy, if you had a brother or sister that passed, yes. and you knew that your sister or brother were telling you that they were going to do this to him, that it was a group of people, yes. and this is what's going to happen to me step by step, the way he said it, not only to me, but to my mother as well, wouldn't you be concerned and wouldn't you be involved to find out who did it? Yes, of I course. do, but... but Ultimately, it will be up to the legal system to deal with this. But you could be called as a witness by the prosecution. But, of course, that's, they consider they, the hearsay. Yeah, that's, does, of course. Does your family, uh, the, yeah, I know you guys talk you very close. Do they agree with the uh, conspiracy theory? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do. A lot of the members agree with it. Absolutely. Are you kidding? Okay, now, you, you know, now, the Jackson estate, it's not run by anybody from the Jackson family. Nobody from the family. It's run by two estate. men who you feel were part of the conspiracy. Now, have, have Michael's kids, have anybody in the family received any money from his estate currently? As of last week, from what I was told, no. Nope, no, you haven't gotten any money. No, from what oh. I was told. Okay, yes. now, we have to, the J I have to read a quote from the Jackson <laughs> sure. uh, estate. It says, quote, the outrageous and obviously false statements made by Latoya Jackson are further examples of her willingness to say anything involving her brother for attention and money. End of quote. They go on to say okay, that... Stop there. Well, I have to... I got to read the entire quote, read. Latoya. Okay. They go on to say that Michael appointed them as his executors and say, quote, their success in generating unprecedented revenues from Michael's estate, coupled with their persevering, protecting, and enhancing Michael Jackson's legacy speaks mm. for itself. Mm. What do you have to say to that? I have to say, first of all, to everybody, for attention, I don't need the attention. Mm -hmm. I'm LaToya. I'm known. I hate to, I don't want to sound pompous, no, but I'm known all over don't. the world. Yeah. I don't need the money. I have several different companies. I'm well off, very, very well off. What you have to look at and think about, look at it this way. These are the guys that knew Michael was worth more dead than alive. Mm. And what are they doing? All of his things that you see are being sewed and thrown into just so many different mixes, and the movie came out right away. As a matter of fact, by the time Michael passed, right away, everything was being collected. Again, I was told all the footage from the movie was collected. Everybody, the doors were locked. It says no. Making you, a movie, right? We have to because well, this, this is a part of a premeditation. Everything was premeditated. Well, we're going to find out more in this book. Latoya, yes. thank you so much thank for coming you. by. We want to thank Latoya Jackson. Members of our audience are taking home a copy of Latoya's book. When we come back, we are taking you inside the